Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Kuya JJ TV. Hello, hello, hello! And I'm back once again for another Amazon product research tip. And in this video, I will teach you the basic technique on how to get the estimated profit margin in Amazon using Helium 10 Profitability Calculator. Of course, as I've said, this is another uh, way of doing product research and finding profitable products in Amazon. So, let's go. And uh, before we start, we need to go to the marketplace that we want to get results. In this video, we will use uh, the U.S. marketplace. Okay. And we need to use a U.S. zip code to do the proper research and to get accurate results. Okay. Step one. Get the keywords of the products that you want to research. Okay, we will use the keyword cell phone holder for the sake of this video. Type the keyword in the Amazon search bar. And when it's done, okay, check if the results are relevant to the keyword or keywords that you are researching. Because we don't want to mix up products in our research. Okay? <laughs> and number four, step four. Okay? Click the Helium 10 Chrome extension and then click X-Ray Amazon Product Research. Okay? There are two ways uh, to analyze this report. Number one, on the spot. We can analyze it as it is on the spot. And number two, download it and save it to CSV file and open it in Excel file. And of course, you can rename it properly so that it would be easy for you to find those reports. Okay? But this time, we will analyze it on the spot. Okay? Of course, we need to double check if the results are relevant in the keyword that we used. Over the mouse to the ASIN, and then you see images of the products. Okay, delete if there are products that are not relevant in your research. And in this report, we have all the data that we need for our research. Product details, it describes the product, ASIN, Amazon standard identification number, these are the brand names, the price, sales graph, the graph analysis, uh, of the last 30 days, okay, revenue, okay, revenue, estimated revenue over the last 30 days, this is the best seller rank, this is the uh, total estimated FBA fees, okay, active sellers, these are the Amazon star rating, total number of reviews, review count, total number of images in their listing, velocity, review velocity, uh, change in the review count over the last 30 days. This is the buy box owners, category, size tier. Okay, fulfillment by Amazon or fulfillment by merchant, dimensions, weight, creation date. Okay, of course, we need to apply all of our criteria when finding our ideal product or products to sell on Amazon. Each and every client or Amazon seller or company have their different criteria in finding their future product. But for me, as an Amazon virtual assistant, I do have my own criteria, okay? First of all, is the price. $20 and not more than $50 is my ideal price, all right? My uh, monthly sales in units would be 300 and up, 300 units and up. My uh, monthly revenue would be $10,000 and up. Best seller ranking is uh, $20 or below. Oh, I mean... 20,000 uh, or below is the best seller rank for me. 20,000 and below. 
reviews less than 200 reviews okay for the sake of this video for example we found our ideal product for example this one okay this product is compliant with the criteria all we need to do is to source this product in china of course we will go to uh Alibaba.com to find cheaper products that are almost or exactly the same with the product that we research. Okay, go to Alibaba.com and search for the keyword or product. And in our case study, we are looking for a cell phone holder. We are sourcing this product because we need to know exactly what is the estimated cost of this product and shipping fees so that we can calculate in Helium 10 and we will get the estimated profit margin for this product. Okay, for example, we chose this supplier and per unit cost is $1.49 uh, plus an estimated $4 per kilogram per unit uh, fee for sea freight shipping. And for the sake of this video, we will use the sea shipping method. Okay, so we will get the exact weight of the item. We'll get the exact weight. Go to Amazon.com. And the exact weight is 1.10 pounds. Okay. 1.10. Okay. We will get the exact weight of the item that we are about to source and convert it to kilograms. Then multiply it by 4. The total amount would be the estimated shipping fee. By the C per unit. So we need to convert pound. So we need to convert pounds to kilograms. 1.10 pounds is equivalent to 0.49 uh, kilograms. So 1.10 pounds. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. 0.49 times $4 would be 1.96. This would be our estimated shipping fee by the sea. Now, we are ready to calculate the fees for this product. So, we will go to the product itself. Okay, go back to this one. This is our product. Click the Helium 10 Chrome extension. And then click the profitability calculator. Okay. Okay. So you will see this report. You will see this report. And we are focusing only on price. Okay. Unit manufacturing cost and freight cost okay first we will fill out the the first we will fill out the unit manufacturing cost dollar 49 okay and the estimated freight cost is 1.96 okay estimated freight cost we make this one uh, per kilogram 1 point what's that 1.96 Okay, and there you go. This is our estimated profit margin. Okay, more than 30% uh, of profit margin is really a good margin because you need to anticipate other expenses like PPC, advertising, giveaways, etc. So you need to make room for advertising, expenses, phot photography, revenue, etc. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a bit.
in this video. If you have questions, please, please feel free to let me know. And I would love and be excited to answer it all. Thanks, guys. Like and subscribe.